Well, guys, I uh, I made some people mad again. There's some hurt feelings in the world. Give me a sec. I slept real good by the, last night, by the way, Mark. <laughs> so I threw this post up, and you can see it here. Don't be the guy carrying the shoes. And a lot of people are like, well, you don't know the situation. You don't know what happened in this other guy. And, you, don't, you know, he was helping people, and maybe he hurt his back, and maybe, but listen, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what the situation is because there's no situation unless I'm, I'm like, on my freaking deathbed that another man needs to come and save my family. And if I zoom in on this guy... I mean, heck, if this guy is still hurting and needs help, I'll put him through the gogi. I'll comp him. How's that? I will comp six months of training to help you build the body that you need to be and be the man that you need to be to, so you can self-rescue your family. Okay? There you go. I put it out there. How's that? Um, but there is, there's just in no world that I'm ever going to allow myself to be the man that is carrying the shoes and the bags while somebody, some other man, who obviously trains, who obviously has put his discipline, has some discipline and, and built his body and been able to, um, you know, carry another human being to safety, while this other person took the easy route. Obviously, ate more, doesn't train, okay? And again, don't know the full situation, pissed a lot of people off, don't care. Because when if I remove all that all the the story and I just take a look at the picture, there's a guy who is undisciplined, has taken the easy route, okay, and is now a victim that needs another human being to come rescue his family. That you don't have the physical means, the physical capability, or endurance to support yourself and your family. I had a great podcast. It's episode 30. Episode 30. I'll say it again. Episode 30 of the Always Forward podcast is with Jerry Frito. He's a coach with the Agogi. He was 305 pounds. And we had a discussion on that podcast about how he realized, how he realized that if something happened, if he turned the corner in some, you know, ur you know, metropolis, urban area, and he walked into a riot. He walked into something, a bad situation. He was more of a liability to his family than an asset. If his wife and kids, if he's there with his wife and kids and some shit goes sideways, he would tell them to basically run on their own because he would be holding them back. So, as my good friend and business partner, uh, Josh Hansberger says, go look in the mirror. Time for that self-mirror check. Look in the mirror. You don't have to talk to me about it. You don't have to talk to anybody about it. Go look in the mirror and talk to yourself about it. Are you that individual? Are you an asset to your family? Or are you going to be a liability? When the shit hits the fan, are you going to be able to step up to the plate and be the man that they need? Or have you been living the soft life? Have you been taking the easy road? And if God forbid, and I do mean that, God forbid, something bad happens, are you the one that's going to cost them everything? Because that's shitty. And not only is it shitty, it's fucking selfish. I've said it I've said it once and I'll say it again and I'll freaking die on my hill with it. And you guys can drop all the bullshit in the comments and what if and but and that's not what, you know, being in, you know, having muscles doesn't make a man, blah, blah. No, it doesn't. It's a capability. It's a tool. But I tell you what, not being physically fit, that's a liability in this world. This is the world that we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. So get your shit squared away and don't be the guy carrying the fucking shoes. And if you are, click the link below, get in the fucking program, and let's fix it. Own up. Take ownership of where you're at and what you've done to yourself, and let's become the man that you know you can be and I know that you can be. Never quit. Never surrender. Always forward. See you in the next one. We'll be